there, everybody, and welcome to the very first episode of The Sean Method. It's our new weekly live streaming show in which I, Sean... That's his name. Hence the name. Yeah. ...play a video game. Um, we're pretty much going to focus on open world, sandboxy, sometimes multiplayer video games, and I'm just going to act like a jerk to people. It's going to be good. I'm going to see how far I can go by acting like a total... D bag. You can be a real salty D when you play games. <laughs> I, can be, I can be kind of a jerk. But that's my method, you see. That's what the show is all about. It's true. Um, it's right there in the name. Chris Waters. Hey, here, guys. Host of Multiple Players. Yeah. Another new weekly show we have. That's right. We got a whole slate of 11 a.m. Pacific live shows. I kicked it off yesterday with Multiple Players. Yeah. Wednesday's the Sean method. Yeah. It's our new Wednesdaily show. It's our Wednesdaily. Yours is Tuesday. <laughs> Mine is Tuesdaily. And uh, what, what game are we playing today, Sean? We're playing a little bit of Rust today, yeah. Chris Waters. Rust is a game that, if you've been looking at the Steam sales charts, you would know that Rust is quite popular with the kids these days. Yeah. Um, so it's a big, open, multiplayer survival game in which you start as a caveman with a rock, and you run around... That's and you quite a rock. ...and you smash trees to get resources. And you know what you get from resources? You, get, you know what you get from trees? You wood? Get, you get wood. You get, like, pulverized wood chips. <laughs> you, you pulverize the bark on this tree for a hot second, and then you get a hell of wood chips. Do you, can you think of how many splinters this dude has underneath his fingernails from smashing and smashing and smashing? He's got a pretty decent amount of splinter nails. Terrifying. Fortunately, he's a caveman. So hopefully, uh, I'm going to encounter some other players. Maybe even some of the players who assembled these ridiculous structures here. So all this stuff. <laughs> wow. That is just, somebody built like the nine hell? million sets of stairs. That is excessive. They are literally constructing a stairway to heaven. I wonder if I can find the person who made that and talk to him. I wonder if that will fall down like the biblical Tower of Babel and then people won't be able to communicate in this game anymore. <laughs> These players committed the sin of thinking they were God, and now they will pay for it. Um, all right, so step one, I'm going to run around. This looks like it should be a pretty populated area. Um, I tried to pick the server with the most players on it. Unfortunately, that was only about 70 people. Out of a max of? 400. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, fingers crossed that I'm actually going to encounter somebody. Well, you do seem to be in a veritable bustling metropolis here. I do, yeah. I wonder if... Oh, there's somebody's fire. I will... Oh, there's nothing even good there. I can't even steal anything. You can't steal things from the fire? Hello, is there anybody nearby? I would like to talk to you for an internet show on GameSpot.com. You're being very candid. <laughs> perhaps... <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I shouldn't be so candid. I don't know. It depends on who we're going to possibly uh, attract here. All right. Well, this looks like a pretty good area. I'm going to walk over here and try to find some people. The problem with these structures is that people have invested so much time and energy into building them that they get really defensive. And anytime you run up here with like a weapon, they will pretty much shoot you on sight. Because you can imagine, if someone is raising a tower unto the heavens, <laughs> yes. they've got a better weapon than a rock. A rock, yeah. That is very true. Where is somebody? Is anybody out here? Folks, just a quick reminder, uh, we're in the chat on twitch.tv slash GameSpot, as well as reading GameSpot comments, so chime in on what you see here, what you think Sean should get up to, and uh, be sure oh. to be following us. Excuse as, me, sir. Oh, man, here we go. Speaking Excuse of following. Excuse me, sir. How are you doing today? Do you need a partner or perhaps a personal assistant to help you out? Because I'm willing to do that service. Mish D says, yep. All right, you lead the way. I'll follow. I can't actually hear what he was saying. I'm not sure what Mish D was saying, but now he or she is engaging in that time-honored ritual. Mish D, you look like a man who can use some wood, so please. Please take this wood. It is a burden unto my soul, and I wish to have it no longer. <laughs> there you go. Now, now what do we say? Thank you. <laughs> I guess he said thank you. I think he said, Mish D's voice chat... Uh, appears to be... Oh, can I raise... Let's see if you can raise it up. Oh, I can't... There's no separate thing for, uh, for voice volume. That's too bad. 
Uh, Sean, quick tip from yeah. the GameSpot comments. Cellpone says, be wary of bear troubles, sir. <laughs> oh, I know that all too well. I have suffered at the hands of many a bear in my lifetime. You have been beset by many bear troubles. I, I have been beset. Oh, where's Mish D going? Mish D, where are you going, buddy? I was trying to listen. Yeah. Mishti. Extra hard. Mishti. If you turn my game audio down a little bit, I can turn the TV up and you hear his voice. All right. We're doing some audio finagling, so maybe we can hear old Mishti. Well, there's only one. You can also do a shift tab. Shift tab? Yeah, hit shift tab. Or is it shift F1? Which is the one that Can you guys on the stream hear the Mishti talk easier? Oh, here we go. I don't know. Yeah, is it setting? Settings. All right, we're doing a little finagling. This seems like a good time to remind you folks that we here at GameSpot are currently running a sweepstakes to give away like a whole metric ton of awesome gaming crap. You can find it at GameSpot.com slash Ultimate Upgrade. And it's a Samsung uh, like sound bar, which is one of those deals that like imitates surround sound in your apartment. Uh, a 46 inch 1080p LED TV, uh, some sick headphones and the next gen gaming console of your choice. Sick headphones. Sick headphones. It sick. says it right here. Nope. No, I'm sick sorry. That was. Sick headphones. I improvised that. Uh, Gamespot.com oh, slash ultimate upgrade. Check it out. Oh, uh, they can't hear the voice chatting either, really, in the Twitch chat. Excuse me, my friends. I notice you're having bear trouble. Oh, man. Bear trouble. Would you like some assistance? I'm very good at hunting bears. What are you going to do? Hit that bear in the butt with a rock? Hell yeah. This is bold. Uh, are you, have you guys, even landed a strike? Guys, the, the trick is to hit it in the butt with a rock. Oh, that dude oh. took care of business. Nice work, guys. Please, gather your bear meat. You deserve it. Don't make me nervous. I will pull up my shotgun and blast you away. Here. It's, it's okay. It's okay. I'll put my rock away. I just want to... Step I just, away from the bear carcass. Okay. They need to, like, mine their bear meat. You guys... Okay, it's okay. I'm not going to... Oh! <laughs> what a bunch of jerks! He got real Anon. nervous. Oh. Oh, man. Anon a was jerk. real, real fidgety. Hey, Blasted. Anon. That was uncool. Wow. But I still... Love you. Strong words from Sean here. Strong, very strong words. Okay, so lesson one that we've learned on the show today okay. is when a man kills a bear for the food that he desperately needs to survive, maybe don't run up and start chatting to him right next to the bear. <laughs> maybe give him some space. Yeah. So maybe. here's what I'm going to do. Well, I'm going to gather some... Metal ore stones. and stones. So what I, I need stones in order to make a hatchet. hatchet. The hatchet is like the first real weapon you get. Okay. Because let's keep it real. This rock is kind of a shitty That weapon. is some bull ass. Yeah, that is a real pile of bull ass. So I'm going to gather some stones, figuratively and literally, and I'm going to uh, craft myself a little hatchet. What? Uh, in Twitch chat, Shapawi says... Kablamo! Show no weakness, Sean. Don't let him know that you only have a rock. Rookie mistake. <laughs> In retrospect, that probably was a rookie mistake. <laughs> Alright, now I need to get some wood. And I'm going to make a sweet hatchet. That's what's going to happen. Uh, a, a question from the GameSpot comments. Yeah. Uh, VidPCI is wondering, you're really making a weekly series about this game? That's not quite what not the Sean method game. is all about. No. The, the series is me playing these open sandboxy games and just acting like a jerk. Whether it's to live people in a multiplayer environment or to NPCs in a single player game. Uh, like next week I might do GTA 5 single player. Oh yeah? Because we have our GTA Diaries show that's all about GTA Online. Goofing around with live people. Mm -hmm. But there's something special about the about GTA 5. About messing with the AI citizens of yeah. Los Santos, that's for sure. Uh, okay, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to craft myself a stone hatchet. Boom. Oop. Yep. Let's just sit here and wait awkwardly for 16.1 seconds. I don't know that song. Is your hatchet done? You don't know that girl from Ipanema? I do know that song, where you were doing like the Timbaland remix. <laughs> I don't know the... What other line. version would you sing? <laughs> That's true. Good point. All right. Now I oh, have... Oh, you're in business. All right. Here we go. I have got 
business this of stone hatchet. more efficiently harvesting wood. Yeah, and look at all this sweet metal ore. Wow, <laughs> you decimated that rock. And I and I did that using a slightly smaller rock <laughs> tied what? to a piece of wood. What has taken nature centuries to craft, you shall uncraft. All right, now the trick is to just hide your weapon. Don't run around with your weapon. That's how people get spooked, like Bear Guy back there. Yep. Um, in fact, I think Bear Guy might be up this way. I'm gonna head there. That's that crackling that you hear right now. That's the sound of radiation happening to me. There's radiation. There's radiation in this game. You see at the bottom it says Rads at 34. Oh yeah, that tiny little box that's kind of, it's like right over down there. Yeah, right yep. there. That might it also be... says food. We're at about a thousand food. Uh, are you gonna go take out a, a gaggle of bears with your hatchet? No, but there's some I wolves will over there too. Take out this. Rock. Little, uh, that, boar. Oh, it's a boar. A <laughs> okay. boar was camouflaged as a rock. That oh, God! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh. Let me. That the, sound effect is vicious. Yeah, it's very fleshy, isn't it? Oh, now he's dead. And I shall feast upon his meat stuff. It sounds like someone is stomping a child's playset over and over again. Kind of? <laughs> yes? I guess you could. Yes. I don't know. That's very true. Alright, so. Now, what I need to do is get a little bit more wood, and now I'm going to make a campfire. I'm going to cook that raw chicken breast that I got from the boar, because yep. that's how science works. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get some uh, food in my belly so that I'm not starving. And then, I'm going to run around and try to make some friends. Sound like a decent plan to you? Yeah, no, you'll definitely make a bunch of friends, I'm sure. Alright. Uh, so, Rust is currently in... Uh, Alpha? Alpha, you, as you can see from that green stripe in the corner. Oh, yeah. Rust up, is currently way up there. in alpha. It's on alpha, so it's available on Steam Early Access for like 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're updating it very frequently, including uh, they patched it yesterday with some minor changes, including this one, which is my favorite. Resources should maybe, hopefully, not kill you anymore while harvesting them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Whoops. You can't place shelters on top of people anymore and lock them in. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Which, that really is too bad. That seems really amusing. I'm just gonna like slam a house <laughs> down on somebody. Well, that's one. Of, so that's the thing about this game is that uh, the standard server option has um, sleepers on it, which means that when you log off, your body remains there. You just fall limp to the ground, and somebody can run up to you and kill you, or put a house around you and lock you inside. <laughs> Um, it just depends they can lock on how much you of a jerk they want to be. Yeah. I'm here. That's intense. That's, That's intense, That is really kind of perverse. Oh, there's some dudes over there. They are hunting bar. All I right. wonder if it's the bar hunting trio you met earlier. Oh, they might be. Let's see if my shit is cooked yet. No, come on. Cook faster. Come on, chicken. Look. Oh, Crispy is playing Dota too. You can't rush cooking raw chicken breast. You... I'm going to tell Crispy to play some... Oh, but he's doing... Uh, He's probably doing a Dota 2 live stream with Brad Schumacher. Who's Crispy? Crispy is uh, he is uh, one of the regulars on Brad's Daily Dota. Ah, uh, yes, Brad Schumacher of GiantBomb.com. GiantBomb.gov. <laughs> dot ru. Dot ru. Big bomb. Dot ru. <laughs> All right. So now that I've got some meat stuff, I'm gonna go make some friends with these strange men. Where do they go? They probably have a house around here. Hello! Hello, my friends! Would you like a personal companion? Or perhaps a hetero life mate? Look, there, there goes. goes one. Fleeing away from you. Excuse me, my friend. Excuse me. My good friend, I notice that you're running away. There's no need for you to run. I pose little to no threat. Maybe you should have just gone with no threat. <laughs> yeah. I probably should have gone with no threat. Well, maybe you want to say little threat just so that they think twice before totally Hello, gentlemen. your ass. Hello, gentlemen. How are oh, you wow, doing? Oh, wow, this is going to get salty. Oh, no, guys, don't You are watching other. a gunfight. Oh, no. You're standing in line of fire. Move. Oh, he goes down. Don't. I, uh, I want you to know that I will not incriminate you. I am not going to bear witness against your murder. <laughs> I didn't see nothing. I would like to ask you, my friend, do you have any spare items you might be able to help me with? I'm willing to barter. I have a rock gonna get blasted. and some chicken meat. I could so also blasted. just walk away. I could walk away. Would you prefer that? 
Okay, I'm walking away. Yeah, it I seems a little no squirrely. I am a threat to you. I walk away, you'll never see me again. Just kidding. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Are you sure you There's don't want There's a dude to... inside the house. Look, you can see. Oh, hey. Hey, dude. Oh, no! Oh, oh no! Shit. You gotta get, get out, the out, hell of out of here. <laughs> this is bad news. That was a bad scene. Oh, this is not good. You know how you can tell it's a bad scene? It's not because people are getting murdered left and right. It's because that dude had, like, a full outfit on. Yeah, he did. He was that fully clothed, and that is the most dangerous person of all. That is a dude who has invested an amount of time into this game. Not like me. I just spawned, like, 15 minutes ago. <laughs> And have watched at least one cold-blooded murder. Yeah. The other one was pretty hot-blooded. That was pretty That hot was just blooded. a face-to-face -face gun battle. So this is What's one that, of, is so they, they recently took, um, zombies out of the game. Uh, yes. And there used to be zombies just roaming around. There used to be zombies. Like, as, like, a threat to you? Yeah, or? which didn't really make sense because this is a, uh, it's a survival game, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's all kind of naturalistic and you're gathering resources and you're making crude shelters. Um, so they n they replaced them with red bears. Not regular bears, red bears. Is that like extra fiery bears? I think maybe? Like extra hot bears? Hot bears? Hot? Jalapeno bears? Jalapeno bears? Uh, habanero bears? <laughs> Habanberos? <laughs> Doritos Locos bears? Doritos Locos. <laughs> uh, yes, to answer your question, yes. What's in here? Oh, a crafting bench. I could make extra cool things. Can I make a bow yet? If I could make a bow, what do I need to make a hunting bow? I need, oh god, I can't read any of that. I need wood, and I need one more bit of cloth and hell of more wood. To make a bow? Yeah. Oh. How do you get cloth? You get cloth from uh, dead animals. So... You know, it's like you, you get fur from them, and you turn the fur into into wool, and sure. wool is kind of a cloth. Um, yep, you have definitely have that resource pipeline down pat. Yeah. You have a good understanding of how clothing is made. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, oh, it's a dude. I'm going to hide my weapon. Cool Snake 67 Hello, in the Twitch friend. chat has a closet full of clothes, which makes Cool Snake very dangerous. Yeah, it does. You frighten me. Hello, my friend. You look like you could use a hand. No, this guy's gone. You are in the rocks. I feel I like this know. is a place where you might get ambushed. I could. Someone is just going to drop a rock on your head. Although I don't think you can actually do that in the game. What is this? Oh, look, there's a tower. Is this Lord of the Flies? Some <laughs> poor kid just going to get a rock dropped on his head for the crime of being fat and having glasses? Yeah, that's life, man. That's just how life goes, bro. That's the primal human impulse. In all its raw terror. All its raw terror and glory? Let's see. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna craft a new hatchet and I'm gonna give it to a newbie player, but I'm gonna make sure that they know that I'm gonna call up a favor upon them one day. <laughs> That's very generous of you. Or is it? Or is it? No, it's really not. No, it could be, be it could be pretty fierce mean yeah what you end up asking them to do i don't know why that guy ran away from me i really remember when we saw that cold-blooded murder like 10 minutes ago? oh my goodness there was a dude just, just sitting in his hut like maybe crafting something uh -huh. maybe looking he was looking around to look at you through the planks and then bang he dropped dead that poor bastard that, poor that could have been you if you hadn't ducked behind i bet that guy on the hill was targeting you yes because you he were being pretty was. cheeky i was being cheeky with him and I witnessed his crime against yeah. man and God. Yep. And, uh... I mean, was it really a crime, though? Oh, a they both squared up. They both had weapons pointed at each other. Yeah. That looks like... I feel like that's more of a duel. That was a duel. That yeah. was definitely a duel. That was a... Excuse me, my friend. How are you doing? Sprinting away from you at where, high speeds. Where are you going? I'm not going to chase him. That's when people get really scared. When you start running them down. When you start running after them with a weapon. You may, you may shout, I pose no threat to you. Oh, this could be fun. Let's see if an airdrop comes out of this big aeroplane. So you know. this is like, oh, this is the gun. one sort of, well, the, more than a few. Like this isn't just a pure like caveman time survival thing. 
There's no. definitely like airdrops that come in. There's oh, yeah. more future tech. Like you, you can like build an M4. You can at build some an point. M4 and put like a red dot sight and a silencer on it and stuff. So it's definitely got an amount of technology. I wonder if this guy. Bob Jones is wondering if you can get up to the top of any of those towers before the stream is over. No, because those are almost always locked. Players make sure to fortify them, um, and they usually have like a small base with a locked door in it. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, hello there. There's a man with a gun. Look at that. Hello, rabbit. my friend. Kill the money rabbit. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, sick shot. Compliment him to gain his trust. I hope you don't mind. I'm just gonna. Ooh, eat that boar. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. If I'm you a terrible. The, if, if you want the resources, go ahead and get them. Oh, thank you very much. Research? Resources. No resources. No problem. As long as the don't come back around. As long as the what don't come back around? That guy named Zombie King that was just here like two seconds ago with that uh, fully automatic gun. I think we saw him do murders earlier. Are you gonna kill that Doritos Locos bear? Are you gonna help him with it by axing this bear? I know, I know the trick for this bear. You kite it and I'll stab it in the butt. Before he'll just blast uh, it that in was the sick. dome. <laughs> that was sick. Oh. We feast on Doritos Locos bear flesh tonight, gentlemen. Do you need a personal companion to do your bidding? Because I'll be glad to help you out. Watch out, there's a guy oh, running there's up there's a guy your behind heart. you. Watch out, watch out. Hey, dude. Wow, you have to have some friends now. Excuse me, Morrison, do you pose a threat to me as, as, a, as a person, or are you a good guy? Well, let's just say, if you're a threat, you're dead. Yeah. State your stance right now in regards to threading us. <laughs> I don't know. He looks pretty thready, Caligula. Don't get don't get salty. He's just standing there comatose. I think he might be all right. Yeah, he's all right, guy. He's pledged fealty to you. Okay. <laughs> now that you've pledged fealty, I'm going to give you a stone hatchet. But I'm I need you to promise not to kill me, okay? All right, Morrison. That's literally your one your one job is not Jump to kill for me. yes, crouch for no. <laughs> Wait. All right. There we go. You're being very generous here, Sean. All right, Let's there you hope go. Your generosity is not just, rewarded with murder. I've just extended an olive branch. Please don't murder me with it, okay? I like your pants, by the way. They're very green. <laughs> what color? How does this guy have different pants? Oh, he's crafted pants. He crafted stuff. Caligula, if you don't mind, I'm going to follow you because you look like you have good ideas. You gonna go kill the nacho cheesier bear number two? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Whoa! Good. Yeah, Morrison Whoa. is helping the team out. Way Morrison. to go, Morrison! Nice work, bro. Get after it. Oh man. Oh yeah, nice. Morrison. You get it, bro. Who wants the backpack? Oh, nice pants. Nice work. Nice work. Let's get this other red creature over here. Yeah, I'm into it. Let's go kill that bear. That bear is throwing us some dirty looks earlier, so I feel like he deserves to die. All right. Remember, the trick is to hit it into the butt in the butt until it's not alive anymore. Yeah, that is that is where Doritos Locos bears get derive their life force. What? You get Did anything a good? suitcase just pop out of that bear? Anything good in there? Uh, just some metal, metal fragments. Boring. That way I can make another shotgun later. Sean, I think you guys should come up with a name for your gang. Hey Caligula, I was thinking we should come up with a name for our gang, and I was thinking the Three Musketeers. It's a little, little obvious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all that. Are you sure? He's not, he doesn't want to commit that much, man. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, too far. Just, you just you think, pushed it too soon. Just think about it. I mean, we don't have to settle on the Three Musketeers now, but I feel like it really reflects the fact that w the three of us are best friends.
I mean, you just give it you some know, thought. You so too, Morrison. To get you guys some real weapons. All right, I'm into it. I could use a real weapon. We're gonna try to get some bows, I guess. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. All right we just need to kill some animals to get some cloth. There we go. Now you guys have a pl action plan. This He's is getting, going well. Just you wait. He's totally gonna embrace the three musketeers as an identity for our. I think he already kind of has. Oh yeah, that's for sure. I mean, he's like the reluctant one, yeah. who nonetheless is very brave and helpful. Whoa, they make Doritos Locos wolves too? Ugh. Look at that marbled fur. It's, it's weird. I think I might be able to make a bow. Ah, uh, so the red ones, you, the red... You want. The red variants of animals you said are because, uh... Are just they, a little more aggressive? Yeah, they're more aggressive and dangerous. Can of beans. Oh, thank you. That can of beans is going to come in handy. And I promise only to get minimal flatulence from it. <laughs> Dude, do not make promises you can't keep. <laughs> I know. That was a real bold fake promise I just made <laughs> to that guy. All right. Okay, I'm crafting a bow, so I'm going to move very slowly. <laughs> but it's still going to move and have one hand up with an axe. I'm just picturing you, like, stringing this around your waist, your lap. Let's go. Yeah. By the way, this is my house right up here. Dude, he brought you oh, to his house. That's a sick house. He brought you to his place. I think he likes you. You want to make sure that when you build a house that you remember the location and make sure you get a sleeping bag because so many people build a house and then run around and they forget where they put their place. <laughs> oh man, I have definitely made that mistake before. It is have not you? fun being accidentally homeless. <laughs> True oh, that. what happened to Morrison? Did we lose him? I think he went and wandered off. That's okay. We can still be the two musketeers. <laughs> <laughs> That's very generous of you, Sean. <laughs> Dude's my best friend. Chris, I made a best friend. You did. I'm really proud of you, Sean. Yeah. This is a game that's hard to make friends in, as yeah. we saw from the murders earlier, and yeah. it, including your the murder of you. All Where's right. your bow? Take Come a at bow. it. Come at it, bear. Come get me. Are you going to not... Oh, is it Morrison back? No, that's a new guy. Really? I don't know. Well, yeah, he's using a rock and not a... Oh, wow, shit. Wow, that bear took a bite out of you. Yeah, he did. I Why aren't it. you using your bow, man? Because I don't I haven't crafted any arrows yet. Ah, oh, technicality. How are you gonna how do you craft arrows? Wood and stone? Yeah. Let's see. So basically you're just being lazy. I'm gonna craft some arrows real quick for my bow. And try me. not to get eaten by a Doritos Locos bear. How does Caligula have so many shotgun shells? That dude is hella smart and worldly, dude. Come on, look at him. He's got a. Oh, that is a sick. Oh, nice. I'll take that. Are you gonna be clothed? No, I just. But he I'll just found the vest. Uh, resources. I'll let you get the next piece of item that comes off the. That's bear. a hoodie. No he worries. just found a hoodie inside of a bear's stomach. Yeah. Have you never considered science before, Chris? All hoodies come from bears when you think about Apparently it. Apparently not. I did not. You know, I don't I don't think too critically about my wardrobe choices. No, you don't. No, obviously. and the provenance of said choices. Look, you need to... You need, I'm still crafting. You're just letting Caligula Do you know how many them. arrows I'm crafting right now? All of the arrows. One? Literally... Eleven? Multiples of arrows. Four? Four, maybe. <laughs> All right. That bear had gunpowder inside of it. Rupti in the Twitch chat says, this game looks interesting and crap at the same time. <laughs> I'm torn. That's, that pretty much describes Rust in a nutshell. <laughs> oh no. Come on, get Don't in there. Do it. Don't you dare, wolf. All for one and one for all, Sean. Look at this wolf. Oh, sh shisa. Oh yeah, nice move. The, the trick is to do a circle. You're circle strafing the wolf with a stone hatchet. I hope I did because 
shotgun's got some spray. Oh no, I'm, I'm <laughs> that all was good. real risky. <laughs> He's blasting that thing with I a was, shotgun, and you're just running around it. I was employing my circle strafing technique on that wolf. Oh, there's some gun yeah, ammo in there. You might need it for your gun. Vid PCI in the GameSpot comment says, uh, you should kill Caligula and take his gun. You has a stick with a rock, he won't see it coming! I would, I would never kill Caligula. He's my best friend. At least not until the end of the stream. Alright, where to now? I feel like I'm pretty well prepared. I have a bow and an, some amount of arrows. How many arrows do you have? 20. Not too right. shabby. Um, I was just out running around uh, getting resources. Mostly is what I want to do. Sounds good to me, bro. And maybe if we can find Morrison, that would be great, but it's not really critical. I just miss him a little bit, is all. Yeah, the more the merrier. <laughs> I miss Morrison. That's yeah. okay. It's good to be honest about your feelings, Sean. Especially in Rust. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the thing that separates us from these animals is our feelings. Mm hmm. Also, the fact that you're not covered in nacho cheese flavoring. That <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a light dust. <laughs> oh yeah, Sean's gonna get his slow projectile on. You're gonna. Oh yeah, you hit him. Way to help out the family. Yeah, yeah. Team. My family might be a little too presumptuous. So that bear dies. Yeah. You whack it a few times for resources. Uh huh. He's not getting, like, is there a finite amount of resources in the bear, yes, or is it yes, like, there is. you can get five and he can get five? You can only craft it. <gasps> is that you, Morrison? That guy's wearing jeans. Yeah, yeah, I know it's you because you jumped to communicate, and that's what Morrison always did. Classic Morrison. Classic Morrison. <laughs> Sweet pants. <laughs> you made some jeans. Or found some jeans I inside a bear. <laughs> bear jeans. <laughs> Oh, another red bear. Morrison's getting after it. Yeah, get it, Donald Morrison. Donald loves his enthusiasm. That's what I really missed about Morrison. Well, that's, was his yeah. joie de vivre, his, really... lust for, his lust for animal blood. Yes. I'm going to put on my new cloth vest. Yeah. Does, so does that actually convey, like, some protection? It does, yeah. It gives you an amount of stats. So that's what it oh, gets. Oh, yeah, protects you against plus the cold bullet, and explosion. Plus 10 melee explosion. Yeah, exactly. All right. Morrison, I just want to say I missed you, and it's good to have you back. The Three Musketeers lives on. The Twitch <laughs> chat is thrilled. Yeah! Now let's jump around. Although Rupti, Rupti is a little mad because you can't be the gruesome twosome anymore. The gruesome twosome. <laughs> oh, I missed the gruesome That, that was a good name. I like it. I'm gonna murder this boar a little bit. Just a little bit? Get a oh, you're running into boar country. How many boars? How many times? How many axe chops can a boar take? Like ten? Definitely. A can you stare into the hollow, black eyes of your boar prey? As I whack it? Yeah. Shh. It'll be all over soon, boar. Oh no! Only no. dreams now. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can read the chat over there uh, in the in-game chat. Some player in this world just said, how, how do you guys find your house? I can't <laughs> find my house. Oh, typical. Wise words from Caligula. Typical. That's why he's the, he's the D'Artagnan of this group. <laughs> or the, the Montague. What's the other musketeer's name? I forget. Jeff? Kronos. Jeff, Kronos, and Montague. <laughs> No, they aren't, don't they all rhyme except for D'Artagnan? <laughs> Athos, Porthos. It's been so long since I read that book. Something else oath, oaths. <laughs> oh, it's getting, it's getting to be nighttime. Should we all uh, retire back to your house or, you know? Shipawi <laughs> says, uh, yeah, the three sporadically right. dressed hobos seems more of a fitting name for you guys. I don't know what the best way is to break this to Morrison, but he's just 
asking for trouble by setting a fire down in the middle of a dark field. I think you should just tell him that directly in those words. Yeah, Morrison, you're going to have to put that fire out here soon. It's going to start getting dark, and it makes you a real, real easy target at nighttime, especially when it <laughs> Morrison is black. just huffing campfire fumes right now, Can guys. Can I do it? I mean, I could take I'm his cool. life right now. My house real quick. Not cool, be... man. Should I do it? I'm trembling with guilt. Look at me. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do Ooh. it. Woo! Woo! That was a dark moment for you, Sean. I just... Morrison, I want you to know, I had your life in my hands not but a moment ago. And I... and I stayed my arrow. Oh no, Caligula, where'd You've you go? You got some darkness inside you, boy. Yeah. You're gonna... you guys gotta stick together in this darkness. In the gloaming. Is that a deer? Oh. Caligula, where did you go? Oh no. Oh no, I lost him. I remember where his house is, though. Do you? Yeah. Is vaguely. it the same map every time? Yeah, it's all the same map. Morrison. Caligula, where are you? I lost you. It's dark. Morrison and I are lost. It's me and Morrison, and I'm not convinced he won't feast upon my flesh when the time calls for it. <laughs> he looks hungry. I'll be honest with you. Morrison has... Oh, no! You are getting eaten by a wolf. You are bleeding from wolf bites. Caligula, if you need me, I'll be running from this wolf for my life. Is that his house on top of a hill? I think it might be. Shit. Why don't you shoot the wolf? Because the wolf is real fast, yep. and it takes a while. I thought we agreed that you boat. could circle strafe wolves. Was this house up here? That's it wasn't that one that was just on the hill back there? Maybe. No, his house definitely was not in the radiation zone. This might be his house? I think that might be his house. I thought he'd build a better house. Yeah, I don't remember his house being that impressive, to be honest. You need, you need to deal with this wolf. I'm going to deal with this wolf. Oh, nice. Should I do it? No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to help him. I'm going to help Morrison. We're going to tag team this wolf. You really this thing is fast as hell. If only you had some kind of projectile weapon. Yeah, that's true. Morrison, just don't die. I'm going to shoot it with a bow and arrow. Oh, yeah! You like nice that, Morrison? Shot. You take it. You deserve that. Your life was on the line there. I just came in at the last minute and shot him in the butt. You get anything good from that? Jump five times if it was cloth pants. Jump 17 times if it was metal fragments. <laughs> Gotta be a better way, man. Oh! Oh, oh my god, Caligula, back. I thought we lost you. No, I just had to run back to my house. It's just right over there. <laughs> I told you that was his house! I'm gonna have to build a new one sooner or later so I can get away from the damn road. Because it's... Let's just say yesterday I built my house in a location that I thought was really good, but come to be, every five minutes somebody was walking by my house. Yeah. I hate that. Neighborhoods with high foot traffic, man. They're for the birds. What I'd like to do off, uh, is just to build a house like right on top of the mountains, right in the center of the map. Have you ever looked at the map? of this game yeah i think i have a vague idea of how to get there i think morrison yeah, the does road, too the road rings around the whole entire map look he's painting you a picture so the road never stops it's just one big loop so if you get in the middle of where the road's at you can get to any spot real quick ah that makes sense <laughs> But then there's a couple of other people that like building the house in the middle because if I thought of it, so have others. Why don't you guys just build houses together and create a little neighborhood association? You guys want to make uh, like a little uh, housing project? Like a little cul-de-sac. I, I well, only sure. have 16 yeah, I wood. That dude is so down with a housing project. Uh, I don't have a whole lot left, but uh, we can start hatching down some trees here, I guess. Hello, Paco. How are you doing? You look friendly, however, I must warn you that we are the Three Musketeers, and we don't take no guff from nobody. Paco says, what's I up? I got a gun. 
He just wants to see your faces, man. Don't let him see your face. Take it easy. Take it easy. We don't need to create a situation here. Wow. Morrison taking a bite out of crime. Paco. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You have to kill him now. He, 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 I didn't mean to do that, but he flinched at me, and I really thought that he was going to come at me. Wow. But feel free to take his stuff. I don't think I would be able to carry it, given the guilt. Yeah, he, don't have, he doesn't have anything anyway. He doesn't have anything. You just wasted a homeless vagrant. You yeah. yourself were a homeless vagrant well, once, yeah. John. Start gathering up some wood. Uh, All right, let's get to chopping. Oh, how the mighty have become crazy murderers. What? What? Wait, no. You saw that guy. I did. You saw how yeah. he looked at us funny. That's just the character model. All these dudes look funny. Do you think it's uh you think it's time to put in the console command yet? You know what console command I'm talking about. You told me about this console command at the beginning of before we started the stream and it seems weird and I feel like you should put it on during the dark of night and then Just when the so da morning da light dawns we will all see what you have unleashed <laughs> upon the world. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Where's my console? The scroll back says, Sean begins his slide into insanity. Yes. Accurate. Also, Mr. Nathan is, uh, is chronicling your adventures in the GameSpot chat. Why is it? Which is really delightful. Oh, really? Yeah. First he says, uh, let's see. Having reuni oh, reunited with their lost not. brother in Rockstick, the Musketeers once more set upon the unwary beasts of the field. Night has fallen. Caligula has disappeared into his house, quietly observing his companions as they nourish the wolf with their exposed meaty asses. Caligula returns with an obvious deception about needing to go back to his house for something, but he has obviously made his judgment. Sean is accepted into the herd. All right. Rust man. Drama. Here we go. I entered the console command. Cool. I wasn't even looking at what it was, so I'm sure it will be good and appropriate. Um, hey guys, where have you run off to? I'm the one with fire. You're in a dangerous situation, man. I can't believe you let yourself get separated from the three musketeers at nighttime. I was entering in console command, and it's so bright in the studio, I can't see shit on the TV. <laughs> oh god. You gotta do it like this. I'm gonna hang out by his house. I feel like if we just go to his house, which I think we've established is right up is here. Is this house on top of a hill, yeah. yeah. Maybe you could knock and be like, are you in there, buddy? He hasn't shared his door with me. I find that to be very rude. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Look, I mean, you guys have been rolling together all day, but... Yeah, we have. Maybe I can just make my own... How much do I need for a wooden shelter? 50. And then a door is 30. Holy heck! That's a lot. You need, like, three times as much wood. Yeah in order to make that happen. But I can make a house right next to Caligula's and it'll be tight as hell. As long as Paco doesn't come back and seek justice. Because we really... You done, you done Paco done, wrong. We done Paco wrong. <laughs> Holy heck, it is dark out. I can't see You're shit You're not going to be able stream. to see anything. <laughs> Maybe I should just craft a campfire. No, what are you, crazy? What? They're going to see you. I'm going to make a campfire by his house. Oh my goodness. Caligula, where are you? Caligula and... That's not how you spell Caligula. Yeah, sure it is. Oh, Sean. What? You're all alone in the night. PS3 Tiff92 in the Twitch chat is still scarred by witnessing the execution in the barn. <laughs> oh my god, that was, that was pretty so grim. Good. That was By very word. surprising. That was like, I feel like you were, you were a child in a movie who like happened to be where they shouldn't be, snuck out and witnessed something that yes. the adults did and was scarred for life and yeah. then you like don't talk for 20 years. That was, that was, yeah, that was bad. That's an origin story right that there, was, man. That yeah. was an origin story. You want to know why he murdered grim. Paco, I think we can trace a lot of it back to not only his own murder uh -huh. in the face of a crazy shotgun wielding bear killer but also the murder of that guy in that bar that one time. Oh, uh, when is the sun gonna come up? It's dark and I miss Morrison. 
Oh god. What do I do? Should I just- I feel like I should just wait by this house and craft a fire. That's totally not gonna lead to trouble. Here's what I'm gonna do. You are in the danger zone I'm gonna zone use here. the fire as a decoy. You're gonna light up Morrison's house. No, this so is So that people Caligula's can see house. it. Get whatever. I'm gonna light it up. Lie. I'm gonna light it up. And if anybody happens to come by, I'm gonna shoot their faces off with my sweet bow and arrow. Can kit. you go prone? Can you just lie in the dirt? I can dirt? crouch like Ooh, this. Ooh, yeah. Like a predator. Get coming for you in the tall grass. Coming for you. I'm gonna get you. Let me eat some beans real quick because my hunger could use it. Uh, I miss those guys. I'm gonna tell Caligula I'm by your house. As Sean uh, gets really lonely here, folks, I want to remind you that if you tweet at GameSpot using the hashtag the Sean method, you can suggest games for Sean to do in the future. Yeah. On the Sean method, uh, he mentioned maybe doing GTA 5. Uh, Rust, we're obviously having fun with today, but if you have any sort of open world sandboxy type games that you think it'd be fun to see Sean do his thing in, let us know via Twitter. Yeah, let us know. Tell us. Please. Please. Please for to tweet. Please. These guys are, you think? I hope this is Caligula's house. I feel like it is, you know? I feel pretty confident. A lot of people are asking you to turn the grass off. Turn the grass off? Yeah. Because it lets you see better, I guess. Okay. Use the How console. I, it's the console a console command? command. Grass on false, according to Cool Snake. Is it grass dot on false? Yes, it is. Grass, grass dot on space false. Dot on. Yep. It's hard to read anything. Okay. So the grass is all gone. Yeah. Well, I mean, mostly. Most of it's gone, and all you see is this rough, barren land. Such as this. You should go hide in them rocks. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And like, maybe put your torch away. <gasps> I see light up there. You see that little flicker of light? I do. That looks like a house. Why is this? Drink, Drink the water. Are you thirsty? <gasps> oh shit! Morrison has a pack of wolves after him. Was that Morrison? Yeah, that was Morrison. I could tell by his blue pants. <laughs> Morrison! Morrison! It's okay. I'm gonna chop those wolves for you. Where did you go? You're gone. I don't see you. I'll be back here, Morrison. <laughs> Does this help? Slightly, yeah. <laughs> I'm not does. doing that for the rest of the stream, sorry. <laughs> oh, man. We need a hat. Nighttime, man. It's Morrison! Tough. I can't see nothing. Although I think maybe... Whoa, no, no. AZN Fallen Angel says uh, Caligula and Morrison are going to return happily with Paco as the new Three Musketeers. No! Oh, no! Man. Why would they do that? <laughs> Why would they do that? I don't understand. Look, maybe they just don't like a chatty Kathy in their group. Oh, Morrison! Yeah. What happened with those wolves? You had like three of them behind you. Morrison's got amazing. boots. Look at those sweet Timberlands. Timberlands, sorry. That's different. Lost them. Oh, you just ran away from them. Oh, you got sick boots now, bro. Have you seen Caligula? Classic Morrison, says the pea money. I like it. This way? All right. Here we go. Let's not get and lost. And Fallen Angel. Everyone loves Morrison. I really hope he doesn't lead me to Paco. Like a newly empowered Paco sitting upon a throne in the sky. Yep. <laughs> Paco, at, after you struck him down, he rose up and became more powerful yes. than you could ever imagine. Yes. Oh my god. He is now that the Lord of Rust. Story. That was his origin story. You were his origin story. Oh, this is sick. Oh, nice. We're squatting in somebody's house. I can dig it. It's your new house, says Morrison. <laughs> what? <laughs> Out of the darkness, Hello, up here's a friend. naked man with an ex with his exposed genitals. Escalados, I noticed that you are hanging some mean dong right now. What is going on? Escalados, how are you going to survive so exposed to the world? Do, don't, come on, come on. Are you going to shoot that man in the penis? Look, he's bowing before you. Do you swear Look. fealty? Do you pledge there is a to naked us? man. He could literally not prostrate himself any lower before you. All right. 
All right. Okay, Escalados. Escalados, you can join our gang. It's cool. Do you have any pants you could give him? <laughs> no, I don't have any pants. I might be able to craft some pants. Let's see. Cloth pants. Escalados is apparently trying to talk to you. Here, I'm going to make some more uh, wooden planks. Escalados, I can't hear you. Are you making sure to hold the V button for voice chat? Because that's important. Also, I can see your dong right now, and it's upsetting me. <laughs> that helps. He's fine. That helps. Hold on, I'm crafting you some pants. Cover up, man. Corin Larkin in the GameSpot comments says, uh, Morrison keeps showing up with better clothes. I think he's secretly a rich serial killer who pretends to be poor and makes friends, <laughs> but is actually waiting for the time to off both of you. Yep. All that's right, the thing about Rust is, that's totally plausible. That could absolutely Escalados, be put true. Put on those pants. I'm tired of looking at your mean dong. <laughs> put those on. It's okay. That's for you. Please, please put on those pants. <laughs> By, it, please, the sun is coming up and the red glow of the morning sun is starting to it's, frame your dong it's and it's really upsetting. It's, really the... Put on those pants. It's okay. You can do it. It's all right. Just do it. Please. Cover up your please. twigs and berries. I'm, I'm really tired of looking at your dangly bits. Maybe you could just look another direction. <laughs> nope. Okay. Like this way? But that's... No. Put you. I gave you pants. All right. Here's how you put on the pants. Something's wrong with his V button. He said. You go to the armor. You make sure to hit the armor tab at the top of your screen, and then you drag the pants onto the legs box. Oh, sick. That's like every morning. That's good. good I drag work, my Escalados. pants onto my legs box. <laughs> All right. The three Musketeers are at it. Plus Escalados. Oh, all Our right. new name can be the Three Musketeers plus Escalados. <laughs> Who is no longer hanging dong, thank you very much. <laughs> Actually, the three musketeers ended up rolling four deep, so... That's true. You know, now That's you guys true. are really set. Especially now that there's not scrotum hanging in the breeze. <laughs> oh. Well, this is kind of peaceful. Yeah, this is nice. This is quiet. This is good. I feel like, you know... Your structure could use some walls, maybe. Probably. I You're, mean, but you know. That's gonna take a dog's age to make all those walls. You've you've survived the night. Let's mostly. see. What can I actually make? What is it? I can make. I need planks to make a wooden wall. Can I make a wooden doorway? Oh, I need way more planks. How do I make planks? Is it up here? Maybe you should make gate? a sleeping bag. And then Should get into it with Escalados, <laughs> who doesn't even know how to cook. No, he does not. That dude. Handmade lockpick. I can make that. How do I make the planks? Where are the planks? Here they are. I can make three of them. Actually, I need more wood. Mr. Nathan continues his uh, commentary. Sean continues on, racked by guilt over Paco's death. It is obvious in every shaking syllable that escapes his lips. Morrison offers a flesh sacrifice, a naked man prostrating himself in the coming dawn. I mean dawn. <laughs> oh my god. I hope... Wait, who's the username? Mr. Nathan. Mr. Nathan, I hope that you narrate every one of these streams, because that would be amazing. <laughs> you are awesome. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a wooden doorway on this house. <laughs> So just that, one doorway? Yeah, so that when the guy comes back, he finds that some stranger has put a doorway in his house. Yeah. And therefore, the stranger has access to it anytime he likes. You should put it near the fire, and then when people come to cook things and don't come through the doorway, just get real pissed at them. It's <laughs> a good call. I made the doorway for a reason. Gee, dee it. Now, where do I... F wooden doorway. We're going to craft it. Here we go. <laughs> what is Morris? Nothing really matters. Is he singing Queen in the global chat? All right, guys. I'm going to put a door down in this stranger's house so that any time we wish to return, we can do so with impunity. All right. Put it, um, put it next to an area that's not easily blocked off. Don't put it. That's an internal door. 
This door, right in front of the tree? I don't think that's a good spot for it. Yeah, maybe right by the fire. This looks good. Sure, that's a back door. You're, all back, right. you're a back door man. I made a door. Now Where's we can the, all. Wait, is there a door on your door? Now we can all or is come that just in a here. Door frame. I like how you made the door and everybody promptly just runs through it to try it out. Oh, cool! That's a door, all right. Yeah. You like this door, guys? <laughs> it's pretty good, huh? <laughs> they better find something for Morrison to kill. Bloodlust is rising. Here, <laughs> Says too. the pee money. Your door doesn't have a door. Does it need walls oh, yeah, to like auto complete? You so what I actually crafted was a doorway, and we need a door. Man, does anybody have thirty wood so we can make a door to put on our new doorway? All right, Sean. Wood. All right, how's it how's it going here? What are we doing? Uh, we we didn't. They're right in front of me here. Oh, that was only like just six need months. everybody out there hacking down lumber and bringing back lumber because the more lumber we get the, the faster we get these walls up the better and quicker we can get this base going D now did you make this foundation or did we find it i found this the foundation was already here all we gotta do is make pillars so we can attach walls ceilings ramps and stuff like that there's already pillars in the front so we oh can get up goodness. towards that tower but, uh, yeah. Just Caligula is doing some lumber. serious public works project <laughs> here. This is like a major engineering undertaking yeah. that you have in front of you. All right, I'm way into this idea. Already in three I think whoever has built this foundation is probably going to be pissed when they come back, but that's fine. I don't care. I've already seen the true face yeah, of people. Yeah, I don't either. I'm not scared hard. anymore. You snooze, you lose. Are you talking about Esclados' dong? Yes, obviously. <laughs> what else would I be talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so you're on the verge of uh, endeavoring to create a great work. Yeah. Uh, have you? What's the biggest thing you've contributed to making in this game? Uh, I made a house. I made a pretty big seaside cabin with, uh, actually with Crispy, uh, who we talked about earlier in the chat. And then um, the server got wiped, and we lost all of our progress. Wow. That happens sometimes in Rust. No more vacationing by yeah. the seaside for you. No. You're being stalked by a Doritos Locos Wolf. Yeah, I am. You need to take care of that. Come on, bow and arrow that thing. Definitely. All right, should I go for it? Yeah, yeah. From downtown. From downtown? Shoot it from your porch. Yeah, right in the butt. Oh, here it comes. Oh, yeah! Take that! Thank you for having bullets on you for some reason. <laughs> that noise is so ridiculous. It's gruesome. It's so <laughs> fleshy. Oh, man, I feel like these guys are a lot more committed to that house than I am. I think so, too. And it is almost noon, yeah. which is... Uh, kill that deer. Come on, hunt the deer. Get some antlers. Which is around when we're going to draw the stream to a close. So, folks in the Twitch chat of the GameSpot comments, if you have any uh, last requests for Sean before we... And before we... Should we, we see uh, Esplato's dong again? Maybe you could ask Esplato's if, to, if he would show you his dong again. I don't know. That, I don't know if you guys are at that point in your relationship yet. It was weird when the sun was coming up and there was like the warm glow of light around his <laughs> fragile dong. That was a that was a moment in time. That was a moment that yeah. you know we won't soon forget here. I'm gonna give them all my stuff because I don't have anywhere to save it. That's very generous of you. Wow, you're you're just going right at Whoa. it with the bear. You are in a in a bad health situation. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. You have 25 health, and there's a Doritos Locos bear on your ass. I'm bleeding. I'm gonna die. Does anybody have bandages? I'm bleeding to death. Can't you just make one yeah, out of some cloth? I need cloth? a bandage too, I'm bleeding. Well here, try to make one. If I die, I want you guys to take my stuff. I might die. You are gonna die. Any last words, Sean? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh Sean bleeds to death. Quick. To finish up. I'm gonna I'm make sure to tell them, take all my stuff, I have to log off. Is that it? Is that all you have to say to them after all you've been through? 
Guys, take all my stuff from my dead body. I have to log off. But the spirit of the three musketeers plus Esclados lives on. Also, Esclados, don't be afraid to show people your mean dong sometimes. It, it is a powerful weapon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I can't think of a more fitting way to bring the inaugural episode of the Sean Method oh. to a close than with that beautiful uh, heartfelt felt farewell to your companions and their video game genitals. Oh, that was fun. That was <laughs> that a good fun. time. That was good. So, uh, as a reminder, uh, feel free to tweet me at S. McGinnis with the hashtag the Sean Method. Yeah. If you want to suggest future games for upcoming episodes. Mm -hmm. um, and as a reminder, we've got a whole new slate of live weekly streaming shows. So, Chris is every Tuesday. Yep. Tuesdayly. Multiple players, and your show is just multiplayer gaming? Competitive, cooperative, whatever sort of uh, comes up that weekend seems like it'd be fun. All right, cool. Uh, Danny O'Dwyer, uh, Random Encounter. Tomorrow, Thursdayly at 11 a.m. Pacific. And Peter Brown, Megabit, where, in which he dips into his vast and terrifying collection of retro it's games. frightening. Uh, to treat you guys to a little bit of 8 or 16-bit fun. Yeah. So that's Friday-ly. Mm -hmm. um, Tuesday through Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And make sure to check out uh, my Rust Early Access review on GameSpot.com if you haven't already and if you're thinking about maybe uh, buying it. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, that was great. That was uh, fun. You did not fun. disappoint. I'm looking forward to more. Yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.